Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Har Haran series of Crusader Kicks 3 here on the Master Channel. In which Haran is still, well, still as it is, but at least it's back to full control now. As much as I would like to make improvements, but I plan on saving a good portion of my money for the upcoming Grand Wedding uh, between me and Grana Vlastimirovic. Yep, the Serbian Syriac connect Syria connection. But in the meantime, we're still well. We're about to get city planning, which gives me the ability to build more cities and temples if need be. And in four years, I will have the ability to have a limited crown authority. But there is one thing I forgot to point out there in the episode is that in about uh, a few years, a couple of years. Uh, we're all about to reach the early medieval era, which will unlock more of these innovations. Yes, all the good things. But let's not worry about that right now. My worry is, well, the stress, which is slowly going down, but, um, it can't go down fast enough. And plus, is my daughter and heir, but I wish to have a, a son rather than just her. Otherwise, that would be problematic. And plus, plan on fabricating a claim here, so I can kick this guy out of here, and then, uh, get a fabricate... Uh, hooks game unlocked, so I can do that against my liege, who is currently facing a peasant revolt right now. The latest work of my acquaintance, uh, uh, the ex Ali Miriam, has become all the rage of court as of late. Peace deals with the feelings of love and romance, and Miriam publicly dedicated to me. My intimate tenderness. He turns his head, does he? My affections reject. Surely this man is free of defects. My heart for her remains his devotee, and as long as I'm with him, I'll ever be free. So far, I kept my thoughts to myself, but the buds has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. I can see it's truly hard felt. I'm just going to be nice to her, right? I need people on my side. Because for the upcoming Grand Wedding, I need to make a diploma diplomacy attempt again, rather than recreation. That's what I plan on doing. What's the culture acceptance right now? 20. But it's still going up year by year. So I could improve it a little more. Too busy. By Saturday, petitioners and around the queuing up lady. Work feels endless. You have to know the steps forward. Evidently, the stressed merchant some guy. I'll get to your problems in a few weeks, but you're not important enough for getting anything fast. No more your corpse and make blanket rapidly. What's the other guy said? No, don't. I can't be having that, especially with the wedding coming up. I'm the mirror. I can do this. This is probably going to get me stressed even more, but I need to get rid of the Sunnis. The ones that have been converting you. I know it goes against you because I'm compassionate. So, I'm no longer welcome here. I don't mind the Christians here. Some Muslims I mind, especially on our liege. Who's been trying to convert our lands here and there. Because I don't have the Jizya contract.
Oh, I know, I know what to do to spend a quick money on. Again, you're not going to get to these tournaments, no matter what you do. Spend little. I gotta go to a private. Good God, man. Okay, fine. I'll do it here. Change location. Ah, here it is. I wonder why I didn't find it first time in the previous episode. I don't have to spend too much. I just want to visit a little hot springs, even though it'll be ineffective. As far as stress reduction is concerned, as I'm here to relax. Even though it's not unique hot springs. Let's just say it's like a... You know. We've just arrived at one of the local hot springs in Hana. You know, the hot springs isn't particularly famous compared to some more popular ones. So I got up in the warm water is still quite an enjoyable experience. I feel like it's rarely... It's like... I feel like I really feel at ease with my day there. I close my eyes and relax. As all my worries leave my mind. Even for just a moment. That's a pity I can only visit. That's, that this visit won't last so long. So I'll try to make most of what I'm here. So it's just... That's... What a waste of money and time. The wise gazelle then said to the little boy, Beware, for there is a sunny emerald. What? The great Damir is reading children's fables? Have you no pride? Rabba quit the bar, Tom Hines exclaims. This is unacceptable. If your foes find this out, they think you are feeble minded. Maybe my choice of Sogdian literature was a bit uh, underwhelming in the eyes of the court. No, oh, don't do that. Oh, hell. <laughs> no, these are venerated Sogdian classics, that's it. I tricked them into thinking that the fables are classical works. Alright. He does been asking me for a pet rabbit for a long time. And I thought I'd get one in three months, so she's a little more focused on her studies. I would never deceive you. Three years, remember. The deadline is basically close to March 16th. When she's gonna turn 19. But I will take my time. Time. No beginning, no end. An infinite procession which humbles our mortality. Hurry up! <laughs> this is why I haven't been doing much activities. Right here. Plus, learn Sogdian. I'm impressed with my knowledge. Ah, how you doing, mother? How's your health? It's your 68 and you're still feeling fine. Man, it feels like you're gonna be around forever, mother. Founder of my dynasty, yes. Al Harani. Osmanovich, yeah. Oh, 
Are you sure there's no other better people with it, Trigger? Talia! How are you? You're malnourished. Well, as soon as you get better, because I got some tasks for you. After all, you're a eunuch. Huh. And eunuchs could be the eyes of ears of anybody's court. I will soon send you to the capital of Armenia to look for potential secrets. Unless I do it myself. So, let's give this a try. I know this goes against me, but I gotta do it so he stops bothering me with this religious business. Sixty-five percent. Okay, switch to support scheme. Now it's seventy-nine, and may possibly be improved upon as time goes on. So I'm not switching that focus out of it just yet. This is possibly going to be my first and only attempt at this. You could appoint a worthy successor. Now, who would that be? That's the question. Babaeus. Here's your successor. Again, I may need that in the future. Offer guardianship to who? Parida. Ooh, no, 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 you don't want to do that. It's gonna take getting the scheme's already exposed. Son of a beeswax! How'd you screw that up already? I didn't even get a notification out of that. Can't do that until another two years. Okay, come back in two years. I'll try it again. You need to get this, huh? That'll help you with your hostile schemes. Twenty-three months. You got two years. Go look for secrets in the court. Hey, capital's over here, dummy. There's a reason why you don't want to have stress up, even no matter what level it is. There's a potential that this character may suffer a heart attack due to stress. Unless you have to get higher than what it is current. Plus, all that stress is going to be lost for the upcoming winning, anyhow. I hope. Because, damn this diligent trait. I, as much as I like it, the only drawback is you don't lose as much stress as you would have liked. Well, higher learning helps you reduce the amount of stress that you gain. Stop! Chief Dent Shulja's Grand Tournament. Hi. You got 20 months. Okay. Travels times 5 months. So, where's that? All the way down there. Right in the middle of Arabia. 10 months to get there and back. Oh no, we gotta step up. And plus, make some cash along the way. Get the merchants. What's wrong with going this way? Is this not faster? No, no, no. I'm talking about down here. And then after that, be back up here. See, this is sensible instead of, you know, just veering off like that. If 
By the way, I didn't read what tournament is that. Because I didn't see what tournament is going to be. It will not arrive at the time. Hang on. Activity starts in May. Yes, we're telling me. Oh, okay, okay, hang on. Let's um, start over again. May not arrive at Grand Tournament in time. I'm not so sure about that. C2 of you could increase speed. If I can't be there in time, then don't forget about her. Make haste. Be there at the 7th, and we cannot afford any delays. Okay. Anything else? Um, I can make things go faster, because mercenary guards will give you 10 speed. Make haste. Just 20. Oh, boy. Want to be in concerts? Okay, forget the Silk Road Merchants. Yeah, we make haste. The world is a dark and dangerous place. Best to haste to the journey as much as possible. Because I have the impatient trait for this. This is going to reduce my safety. And I'm going to be a reckless driver here. Huh. And I'll be in causes which will travel even faster. Let everyone know it will make the journey even faster. Because I have the compassionate trait. I'm impatient and compassionate, so the combination of those two could lead you to this. And you've got my sister, who's an experienced caravan master. Which means now there's a bunch of locations where there could be danger. And plus it costs very, very little. So we can get there faster. And we cannot afford a single delay, otherwise we're going to have to travel back. So... Remember, 20 months. We, we could get back there in time. So, let's roll! Running behind schedule. When my caravan leader come out approaches me with a mixture of shame and worry written all over it, I know she bears my news. I'm sorry to report that we're running behind schedule by zero days. Yeah, might not make a destination time. Well, let's hurry! So, my fellow attendee, Chief Duchess of Jaws, hosting a grand ceremony in the vicinity of Hala, and the time has come for us to depart. We shall represent House Al Harani and make the Syriac people proud. Hopefully, the rest of it won't be as run as Chief Duchess of Jaws. Should be worried of what goes down in the lion's den. Suppose we must. So, every available unlanded knight will be accompanying me to compete, including the normal. Uh, what tournament is it again? A dual tournament. Oh, I will definitely take part of that once I get there. So, come on. Let's get this damn thing rolling. We're basically riding fast horses at this point. And Armenia is, is a war tyranny against Bagra. Serhan, the local captain. And a few of his officers greet me as my entourage entered the military crafts of Al Hada. As he wanders off, I quickly dismount and follow him. A couple of paces forward, Serhan stops and turns to the latest siege equipment, which is neatly placed in the rows before me. Quite a sight, isn't it? I'm not appreciating the organized chaos that I'm observing. Now, what would my mother want to do next? I wouldn't mind some sparring. Success. Once more on the road to the head is dangerous. So for safety we have to sell overnight. While others suffer camp, I catch Mukta picking up another unknown food. I admire your curiosity, Mukta. So I was gazing at Steve's look instead. Any person. I'm sorry, my leech, but I cannot help myself. He starts saying Steve the fruit. Oh let him eat it. I can't afford to get under a rash or plant sickness or whatever. Harmless plant after all. How about that? Just traveling fast. Our feet can't fail us now. 
as we're just traveling through desert, not drones anymore. It's just nothing but sand. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it to this damn tournament. And I will take part in the duels. It'll be like a tournament over there. A duel tournament, that's what it is. Here we are! I arrived at the side of the turn here in home. Well, not all the rebels have yet arrived. Throngs of people wander through the colorful surroundings, all looking forward to the fourth kind of displays of skill and prowess. There's no time to lose. I must begin preparing. I must be a victor. At absolutely any cost. I can't wait for it to start. I'm guaranteed to qualify. Say the favorite contestant is Suja himself. Is that so? You got a week, and the only place I could logically go to is to the tourney grounds itself, the training area for the turn. Spending your time here will increase the progress to victory. And that's going to be my intent as a turn. I mean, I was pretty handy with a bow in the past, but this is all about fun, so. My aptitude is excellent because I'm strong. I have high prowess. A new heart. Squires laugh and joke when they polish helms and mail. One of them snorts so hard it sounds like a pig. And <laughs> it's soon rest imitative. The, uh, I got the boy in the nearby. Amongst these, I spot Suleiman Amir Aras Consulate. His skills have been greatly praised, and his name resonates as one of the possible victors. I could convince him to join my own council. Oh, yeah. You're a cunning politician. And a damn good general. Hmm. A skillful man deserves a skillful liege or no liege at all. But, damn it, the stress. Intimidate him and he joins. Good man. Good man. Get out of here. Found someone better. Nearly have an ornamental break for this. So I'm 43 progress week. Contestants march into the field, taking their places around the sparring club as the Herald announces the contest contest commencement. The squared off ring is being looked over in the background. Rattle the signal to ensure that no one should give a contested crash into it. The dueler qualifier is coming in. It's clear who will be put forward for the quarterfinals of the stands. The varied pitches of volumes the crowd choose leave no question as to the favorites. For my first bout, I've appeared against my fellow contestant, Wali Abdul Ghaffa of Wadi Az uh, of Wadi uh, Azrak. Well, look what he has got. A tourney sword. It's wrought iron sword of fine crafts with a hilted palm of decorated with copper and an intricate twisting motif. This weapon was purchased from a tournament. A strange and foreign text on the blade seems to reference an unknown religion. Well, that's a nice sword you got there. I am ready. So, so as for the others, um, while well, Abdel Razak was paired against uh, Jakob, uh, Najib was paired against Babaeus Hosei, my man. And Hadayat Gabare was paired against uh, Faripos. In fact, out of all those, it's only Babaeus. My bodyguard is the only one who's, besides myself, that represents us. So I am ready. Well, since I have a lot of money these days, maybe I should place a bet. Peering at the bookie by the tavern's dim light, I ponder the stream of the odds shouts over the heads and what they find us. Babaeus is the dual favorite. Four to one for Babaeus. You sure about that? Well, he does have plenty of foot experience. I'll give him that. That, he, I'll put it as a safe bet since he has plenty of foot experience, but I think it won't end well. 
I vow to myself that I would win a contest tournament, but I can't help but consider a less fair approach to secure the prize of the duel competition. I'm not sure our opponents would do the same if only they had an idea. Who knows, maybe they already have. Old age. Ornate dagger he's got. Sparring blade master. Oh hell. This is no way to win. My blade crashes out of my opponent Abdul Gafas. Sparks sent flying as the two weapons grade. We both step back, circling our left. Abdul Gafas swings at me. The sword's point thudding into the ground after passing my body. Quick as a viper, I step in and kick it as hard as possible. Ripped from his grasp, Abdul Gafas' sword cartwheels of the air, landing to both of our horror amongst the crowd. A shrill cry pierces the air as we both hurry to see uh, Wahid on his knees and the flying sword having him acted directly onto his arm. That's... that's Abdul Gafra's court precision. No, that's a different... different guy. Well, as an impatient man, I'll say, well, no time to lose. The screeching chorus of metal on metal rings out as two blades uh, scrape down each other's lengths, sparks glittering as they fall to the ground. I look for advantages, thinking back to when my opponent's sword went flying across. The duel is still so close. Its victory could still be either of us. We advance upon each other once more. We're both battered, both tired. There can only be one winner. Well, based on who he is, what are you scared? I don't think a compassionate man like him would say that. He would say, I must remember my training, because his martial education. A sonorous blow rings out as my weapon glances off a helmet. My opponent staggered backwards in the daze. I follow up quickly. Uh, swiped faint left, the hammering bro right. I advance as my adversary backpedals desperately, my sword being deflected by the barrister margins. I sense a win and rush to claim before uh, 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 Abdul Ghaffar recovers. He withers under my furring blows, barely keeping form with his guards, until at last he steps away, yielding. The judges call an end. I have won. Victory. I knocked him out of the tournament. Let's see who else advances. As I could see over there. The quarterfinals are over. The Herald booms. Amira Sinan of Al Harani, Wale Gapkut of Javal Kozlum, Barboz and Babayas have reached the semi finals. My next battle we get my fellow contestant. Wale Yakut. Oh boy, that guy. He's the one to watch out for. He's been interested in learning shorthand techniques that relates to writing, not swordplay. And Fire Buzz will face uh, Mabeus Hosei, a cozy missionary, and uh, a fellow bodyguard in uh, Eswawa, Syria. So, hope I can do this. He's a dangerous opponent. It happens in a split second. As our blades crash thunderously, the hilt of Jakob's weapon slips past. Smacking off the back of my sword hand, reeling backwards against space. I clutch in my hand with my free one, sword held limply in front of me. The throbbing pain radiates up in my arm as I wriggle my fingers curiously. It appears not to be heavily damaged. If it's at all an inspection is tricky as I read backwards to avoid a blow from the advancing Yakub. He grins, clearly seeing my advantage. It sails another blow just past my flank. I simply can't dodge forever. My hand will need to be dealt with, one way or another. Does he have prior foot experience? No, he doesn't. And neither do I. Oh, hell.
Time to see if those offhand lessons paid off. This is a combined prowess and intrigue. So my intrigue isn't great. Despite the fact I haven't been going on an intrigue focus. I'll say there's only one thing for it. 46% chance that my ploy succeeds and I would become ambidextrous. 43% that my score decreases moderately. A 9% chance that I just drop my weapon entirely and decrease and become an ambidextrous. And get wounded for it. Or just say do not back down. But there's a chance I might get wounded and scorch decreases minutely. Then switch to a two hand stance. I don't know. If it decreases moderately, I hope I can make a comeback. There's only one thing for it. Ploy succeeds. A screeching chorus of metal rings out as two blades scrape down each other's lines, sparks glittering as they fall to the ground. I look for advantages, thinking back when I saw an opportunity to use my other hand during the duel. I'm winning this fight by some margin. I just need to hold it together for a few minutes, for a few moments more. <laughs> We advance upon each other once more. We are both battered, both tired, and there can only be one winner. Come on. Remember your training. 62% chance uh, that I'll increase the moderate. 50% chance that nothing happens. 22% that I'll increase the moderate, and we'll probably likely lose at this rate. I got him. I got him. <sighs> the snoring is full of rings out as my weapon glances off a helmet. My opponent staggered backwards in the daze. I fall quickly, a swipe, swipe faint, with a hammering blow right. I advance my adversary back pedals desperately. My sword um, barely being deflected by the various margins. I sense a wind and rush to cream before Jakob recovers. I catch a strong of his blade. In the last quick string of the blows, breaking his grip and sending the weapon spinning into the dirt. The judge has called an end. I have won. I knocked him out. The bout between Faribus and Babaeus decided. It was closely fought, but in the end, Faribus disarmed Babaeus and forced him to concede. My goodness. Thought he would won that one. Not my fair as far as to be said. Well, there goes my wager. Now I'm facing the Kuzi Missionary, who is a legendary Blade Master. Oh dear. There's a massive advantage of that. Yes, a man who is a descendant of the Elamites from long ago. I mean, we'll get back to it in just a moment. Um, yeah, the people of the Kuz, the ones that are looked down upon because they're known for... You know, having their name is an insult. They have many old jobs in courts of power nobles and royals, like being bathroom attendants and wet nurses. And now this man here, a missionary. So, I'll get to face Father Bose in the final. The semi the dual semifinals are over. No, Harold Brooms. Amira Sinan of Al Horani and Father Bose have reached the final. I reached the final bout. For it was all that stands between me and victory. Oh, I can do this! I can do this! The screechy chorus of metal on metal rings as two blades scrape down each other's length, sparks glittering as they fall to the ground. I look for vengeance, thinking back when I saw an opportunity to use my other hand during do. I'm winning this fight by some margin, just need to hold it together for a few moments more. Events upon each other once more. We're both battered, both tired. We can only be one winner. I thought Jakob was a tough one. Let me see. I remember my training. This is it. The snorry blow rings out as my weapon glances off a uh, helmet. My opponent staggered backwards in the daze. I follow up quickly, a swipe to faint left, a hammery blow right. I advance as my adversary backpedals desperately, my sword barely being deflected by the bearers of margins. I set the win and rush to claim before fighter bows recovers. He withers under my flaring blows, 
barely keep informed with his guards until he last steps away, yielding. The judge has called an end. I have won. Victory. Trumpets sound. The competitors begin to assemble. The contest is over. Someone's moment in the sun is being ready. The herald steps forward, voice moving across the scene. After many trials, some tribulations, and above else, there was some truly spirit of competition. Amira Sinan in a final. Sinan is our winner. Truly, there is none in Kazim that can match my skill. I have proven my worthiness beyond doubt. I won, I actually won. Yeah, I lost the wager. Spabeus. I would have loved to face him in a final. That would have been, you know, interesting. And I've gained uh, 40 gold. Because I'm a gifted duelist. For the next five years. And I will receive the prize. And everybody took part, including Babaeus here. You're all duelists. I really need to reduce stress for the love of the one. I sit in a tower of small group of courtiers. I saw that galley light holding someone's sign. One of them whispers and then lost my own thoughts observing the flickering of candles. I take a sip of meat and reminisce about the time when my first child, Jalina, a beautiful girl, was born, broadly smiling. You want to hear a real story? I asked, turning to my companions. It'll be a perfect moment to, for some uplifting conversation with her. Uh, No, seriously, I need to get home quickly. Won a prize brooch. The sun comes down to the final day of the tournament. The mass crowds begin to disperse. I find myself ruminating the results. My superiority with the blade had had me to take home the prize in the duel. I fulfilled my goal in winning the contest. I look forward to the next one. What a great occasion. 25 trade experience in foot. Thank you very much. Now I'm the owner of this. This power is kind of like whatever to me. So I have 14 months. And we got to return back quickly in 4 months. We'll make it. It's a trinket. Not a galia. That's different. It's contemplating on destroying it, but I have so much money right now. I guess we're gonna make this an expensive wedding when we get back home. Oh, good. The regent uh, paid me 40 gold for the mandate. Every morning since we reach uh, Thalevia, my mother Draga leaves her litter and silently glides away from my sight. This time, I decide to follow her path and find her a lively chant with the local court imam, Abu Bakr. The ceremony begins, the light that candles illuminates Abu Bakr while shadows play against the walls like autumn leaves. Draga, I call him after service. What are you doing? Oh, you shouldn't call your mother by your name. Just say, Mother, what are you doing? My age, it just occurred to me there may be some more than one truth. There is room for a calm debate here. She's angered for my narrow mind. Kamal's in charge of food supplies. She was revealed our positions are now all but useless. I have reportedly stored patches of mold covered in bread and fresh produce. The cookie used up on many dried food. The party grows hungry as dust begins to fall. Nature will provide for us. Traveling thinkers. One thing I noticed as we passed through Kafan is that every other Sami is practically laughing at my latest attempts at a logical argument. Then, then again, I do want philosopher culture back. Or just say, 
What can I personally learn? What I believe it's better off the hybrid as a culture this way. This is some terrible misunderstanding. I'm very sorry about all this. Oh, yo. Hey, skills avoid some more than usual. He always sits at the opposite end of the table whenever we're invited to a feast. He confuses my company while camping. Do not have the best relationships, but that attitude is starting to tire me. Especially over here defaming me. Sin on is an abhorrent foop doodle. Bop doodle. It'll be better to I'll be way better at mirror than him. You wanna know how it is? I'll show ya. Get out of here. You're no longer in this uh, entourage of us. It's getting sick and tired of you. Sick and tired of your negativity. And treat him on the way out. Health's still in force. He's 70 now. Well before my duties is the guess Talia has uncovered a secret held by me. Star Starosta Igor is to be the lover. That is useful to know. Hi. That ain't nice. Stronghold. I know it's a not a compassionate way to do it. But I might need her for the future faction, you know, me for Arminia. Thank the one, I can go inside again. <sighs> Got 11 months. Now, let me see. Besides this, for all the attending characters. Would be the best wedding ever if I had this amount of gold. So please wait. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, you're right, he's at war. If you can't go, you know, mate him with whatever issue it may be. Don't do a premature feast. You're going to have a feast in the wedding anyway. So don't go anywhere. Don't spend anything. Don't touch anything. Maybe provide a tax break. I mean, everything costs damn money with this. Can be used again in five years. You know what? Give me it. <laughs> After five years, then we'll consider forming a faction to go for Armenia. Legion's dealing with the civil war right now. So perhaps we will make this the most expensive grand wedding that will be better than my father's. Wow, that made it for me. This would be my second grand wedding, personally. Because I was married once. And now I'll get to marry this uh, brave Serbian woman. She's gonna love you so much that you would have no choice but to accept this new faith. You need to discover on your own. 
Because I can't wait to have more of my own children. Preferably a son that I can raise. When is your birthday again? 16th of March, and she'll be 19 then. Do we have enough money now? Because I'm willing to build a whole load. Wait one month. Please wait one month. Just one gold short. God dang it. She turns 19 by that time. And then we're going to have to start a grand wedding, which will be the grandest wedding that's in the history of grand weddings, at least locally. And I would probably want to focus on recreation at first. <laughs> Just want to have a good time. So, again, we're going to have trouble doors and exotic fiends, um, which will add some eager reveler trade experience and increased prestige gain. Uh, gargantuan meal, which bonuses the stress loss, increased health bonuses, and opinion gain of all the attending uh, characters. And it's silver and gold, just like my past uh, grand wedding I took part of. But this time it's for myself, not arranged by my father. Oh, I miss him deeply. So, let's get started. And I gained the eager reveler trade already, which ups the intrigue a little. Every little bit helps. And if you get it up, then that's the bonus in the intrigue. Get it up more than there's more of that. And hostile scheme success chance. Oh, you're too young. Would you like to come? How about you? Yeah, you're lazy bum. How about you? Might accept. Come on. Hell, would you want to come? He's like, oh, he would arrive, but he doesn't like uh, our faith, and he's of a higher rank because he thinks that stuff's beneath him. One percent! Oh, don't ask any Christian. Okay, what about the, uh... At least give it a chance, even if it's a low percentage. About the cozy. Hey, Caleb, you ain't doing nothing. You wanna come here? I know it's a bit hostile, and we expelled Muslims, which I do apologize for. Plus, wars just ended here. So maybe you'll come down here as well. It's okay if you decline the invitations. Hey! Please. Are you going to be coming or no? Wait for the army to disband. I think he was the one leading it. Yes? No? Maybe? Or is he already traveling and I didn't know it? No, he remains. He doesn't want to come. I'm disappointed. Would love to come down. You can't invite ch child characters to him. Also, did I say Caliph? That's Sultan. Sorry, it's a habit. The Caliph is actually him.
Not till next. Not till later this year. Okay. I get it now. Mm -hmm. Now, Grana. What the hell are you doing all the way up there? Were you wandering? My goodness, she's got a long way to go. It's for my patrol. Now do you want to come here? Or will you refuse? What do you say? He says yes, he's on his way. Good. Because you and I are going to have a stern talking to. And I would love for you to come as well. And she is. Alright. Oh, and she's already here. So she did accept the invitation. Okay, then. Perhaps I should switch the attempt to uh, diplomacy to try to get. Uh... Oh, Marion's the one who likes me the most, so. Try to get her on this. Well, she sure always a hook. Which I could use any time to get her to join my faction. Whenever I form it in future. So you should try. Uh... What's that other woman's name? That just arrived here? Who is she again? She's from Tal Kuryate. But you know, she's present. Client here, Dutchie. There you are. Didn't see it the first time. So try her. Months till she gets here. No, her mother's here. She's infirm. Oh, please live long enough. What? You murdered this man? My god, this woman's got secrets. And I don't need a blackmailer again. And apparently she got wounded. It must have happened during the travel. Don't die, please, because, you know, you're needed. Arm the Lago of Bagrat is here. He's present. Oh, look. Al Fragani. Mohammed Al Fragani. Remember that guy? <laughs> I did a video series starting with him, the Afrogani series, that North African Sogdian series, even though he converted to, you know, Zanata, Berber. So she's in the Black Sea now. So here comes the bride eventually. I don't know her language, but I'd love to take the time to get it so. Oh, by the way, now that the king is here, try to fabricate a hook on him again. Give him a second attempt. Get another shot at this. And stop looking for secrets. Your aptitude is terrible because she's infirm. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, God, Mother. We're going to have to retire you. You had a good run as the physician. You are the most learned of all. Well, I guess I guess I can trust you now. Since you and I had issues in the past. Ever since Father brought you over. But I had to learn your language in order to 
little over respect between us. Just be glad I never made you a concubine. Because I found someone else. Who is coming? My bride. There she is. It always feels amazing when you've been planning for something for so long and spent so much money on it. And it's finally there. Everything is ready. The decorations are in place. The guests are mingling. The servants scurry around with loaded dishes. I'm pacing around in excitement and nervousness when my future spouse, Grana, appears. Radiant in her finest attire. We are ready to begin. I can't wait. Miriam dismissed a bad omen concerning Grana. Praise the baked truffles. Pomegranate cakes and overjoyed. Losing stress. Offers are now. Got more renown. It's from people of other cultures and other dynasties, that's why. I pity you, acquaintance. Miriam tells me what married to life is like. A cold bed and a mistrustful wife. Shackle on your joys. Like me and Wahed, grumbles. Is that what my marriage to be look like? We really suited for each other. I'll say that Grana is perfect for me. I really, really think so. I'm a confident groom. So I sweet talk Ashraf. Oh yeah, I remember Ashraf. He's back as well. I'm glad I told my service to keep it. Uh, early to keep an eye out the uh, Erastavi um, Cantronades arrival because in the midst of the wedding preparations I would have dismissed it otherwise. Instead I'm proudly standing in the middle of the courtyard wearing my fanciest clothes and surrounded by the guard of honor while Cantronade makes her entrance. I'm extremely pleased to have welcomed you, Erastavi Cantronade. Uh, I am certain that you will find my hospitality most agreeable and be impressed by all the wonders my realm has to offer. Would you like to see the venue's preparations? What do you think? She was impressed. Lost the stress. Paid the uh, my wife uh, 20 gold. And the uh, exceptions between the Syriacs and the Serbi Increasing. Not planning on forming a hybrid culture with him. Finally. One second. Before that pivotal moment in time. Would like to have mustering ground so I can have more men in arms regiments. The day's barely started and I'm already fed up with the assistant blabbering of the religious. So called authorities, well wishers, and sick of fence and confused servants. Not surprisingly, I've been deceiving through the most ceremony. By the time our formal consent to the marriage, my patience is wearing thin. I'm fine. I find myself snapping my reply in annoyance. Do I want to spend my life with Grana? This is because he has the impatient trait. That's why he's talking like that. I do. So, marry Grana. So, ten years. We gain renown between each other. It is done. But now, the banquet. As the ceremony concludes, we all move to the banquet thing. I secretly smile to myself, picturing the joys to come with my married life with Grant. Not everyone can be so lucky to marry such a likable person. I wish everyone on my happiness. Let's all tuck in. Enjoy! Who hurt you? Severely injured. 
Who hurt you? Who beat you up? Oh, no wonder why. I mean, ever since, you know, we've been betrothed for God knows how many years. Your grandmother died of being ill. Your brother Miroslav died of his wounds. Your sister Zvetya. Zvetya was chopped to pieces. Look, I'm sorry what's happened to you. I don't suppose you have any enemies, do you? No, you got a friend and brother-in-law, Stanislav. I wasn't aware you were injured, or you must have been injured during the wedding hour. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Let me see. One died here. Died in her sleep. Oof. Was this the bad omen she was talking about? Bad omen stabbing her and now she's severely injured? Good impression. Give her money. Raise quail. Oh, fire! <laughs> Princess um, Lyanna of Abkhazia failed to save uh, Grana from the flames. So she got wounded while... She... Oh, it was a burn! There was a fire here. From the Principality of Abkhazia, and didn't have time to save her. She ain't dead, but let's just hope we don't have a, a huge tragedy here right now. Because we just had a fire in the middle of a wedding banquet. So, I, I even trust you in this because Mother can't do it anymore. You have a great de degree of knowledge. So just be cautious. Do no more than what is necessary. Did you treat her well? You gained a favor hook on me. You also gained a favor hook on me. Tells a fantastic joke about smoothly polished sticks. Is Marion. Every feast, there's always one. Every single feast. Long winded, ill born piss ant ordering the people who are just. I will not be silent. This time, it's Mozafaradan. He is deeply confusing. Words clearly make sense to him. They sound almost entirely unconnected to me. It's been half an hour trying to figure out what my part of the conversation is. I am going to scream. I didn't read your skills, by the way. Need your help with this. I'll gently exit the conversation now. Extricate myself. Get this. The friend scheme. Make some friends in Armenia. Yeah. So that way they can join me for the future faction of Sinan for Armenia. Another one gained a favor hook on me. Because I died of old age. He was my chancellor. You're the man, Ashraf. I remember you. It appears that diplomacy has failed. So as, as the feast uh, started to wind down, everyone's sitting and tired, but the day's still not over for uh, Grana and me. A procession of guests leads to a bedchamber, but the legitimacy of the wedding depends on it being consumed. It's time. But I'll take it easy on you because you got burnt in a fire. But I'm sure you weren't afraid. Because... What they say must be true in your land, that Serbian women are strong, not physically, but mentally.
Brown has befriended someone. That's nice. The fire in the grade started to wither. I stare at its flames in silence. The light to warmth a meta grana. I search for something in a wooden chest. I take my eyes off the flames to look at her. Sinat, she says. Oh, already a small package wrapped in silk. I've saved this since our last, since our betrothal. And now I offer it to you as the token of my love. A lock of hair. Huh. A lock of hair tied with a silk ribbon. The exact shade of grunts. So it gave sound effects and on the wedding night as a token of affection. I actually have something for you too. Give it this pressed iron since I'd never take a good care of it. it. It was founded by my mother when we were traveling. It was a hunt, I believe. Father. Yeah. So we trade. Yeah. It'd be good to have. So we failed that tent. When finally, as the last guest leaves, I look around the deserted venue. The food leftovers, the spilled violet shaba on the floor. The echoes of people's lives still lingering here. And I feel satisfied. What an amazing day. I did a very fine job at organizing it. Made some gold back. Lost a lot of stress. I was a magnificent host and celebrated a magnificent wedding. That will forever be remembered for the rest of my days. Thank you all for coming. Hmm. Hey, where are you going? Get back here. Well, I mean, we did it pregnant, you know? Did it pregnant, you know? Right. Now that I have the ability to make friends um, in high places, I wanted to get her on my side, but I guess I'll do it this way. Start making friends of all the powerful vassals of Armenia. That's the idea. Just preparations for that very eventuality. Well, since I'm always traveling, I'll be traveling too. Go pay homage, give us some money, or some tribute. No need to rush things. We need to play it safe. This time. And get the merchants. Just go and back. Damn it. Why like this? At least you're not going over there. Just there's a chance of danger. There's a little danger here. There's some degree of danger here. What the heck are you putting it about? Go up there. Says you're gonna be a caravan master, whether you like it or not. Let's give it a shot. Haggling, succeed. <laughs> Shouldn't be traveling like that while pregnant. It's really interesting. So once you get back to uh, 
Lvov, then I want you back here this instant, to my court. I don't care if you're visiting your mother, she lives there. Oh, yeah, by the way. Oh, no, 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 the, the diplomacy helped. Gotcha. Fortified knowledge. A high altitude in the brisk air of Torobaran that has a very refreshing quality as we traverse the local hill fort. My the soldiers training below with a keen eye. The tactics are not complete for me. Trained in the martial arts as I am. While doing so, I'm approached by a local captain. Oh, Mikhail. Would you like to join in, my lord? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, Rough terrain expert. That could be a possible outcome. Either that or I may become reckless. I'll take this sweet time here. I'm always up for a challenge. And I became the rough terrain expert. See, now I know the Armenian hills. So should war ever break out between me and Armenia um, for the throne, now I know how to fight in their turf. Was I so serve me? Good, a military engineer. Just what we need. The claim fabricated. Once I get back, I'll have it revoked. It's not the first time I catch my courtier honey for fiddling around some flowers she's been picking along the road. But sometimes hers, I even hear him sign, overlooking Kinsey's holding. My lady says when she notices that I've been observing her. It's not a secret that my heart has found a new home, powerful home. Last minute, my soul aches for Ivana. My desires know no end. His eyes, his hair, his long could slit. I'd die for a word. Please, it's good. I was about to say, that's not coming along. We have enough room to, in our court, to welcome both of you. There's some talent here. It is known that the Hadahakaya Khan Armenians are ardent believers in their faith and do not take kindly to non believers. Nevertheless, Kinsley is on a route we must pass through. Quickly through the villages, vengeful eyes set down upon us like a gazelle prowling its meal. Before we have a chance to react, the local priest descends upon us with a mob of raging fanatics screeching about our alleged heretical beliefs and demanding we pay atonement for the passing of these holy lands. Jim and Icarus. Foolish man, it is you who is the heretic. And I won the debate. Come on, almost there. It's winter out. There's danger in traveling in winter, as you all know. Now let me pay tribute. But now, be careful to not oversleep again. Sword usher me into. I got this great hall and hike where he sits his throne waiting to hear my pledge. I kneel at the feet of my lord and pledge many of so much. The uh, homage. As describes a court event, my tenants then follow, presenting my rich gifts to the Agavol before the assembled court. Bagrat bids me to rise, confirms the satisfaction along with my rights to lands are grown his stead. The price of fealty. Thank you very much. Hope nobody gets frostbite. It's not quite to our destination just yet. Goodness, she's gonna. Uh, as the door of my perfect chamber opens, I'm not greeted by a smiley wave, eyes crying big. Send me at the ground as heart-wrenching ways. 
I'm so sorry, my lord. The midwife does not uh, look him in the eye. So now it's time to cover him. Your son, he's in the underworld now. My son in the underworld? That was my son! Blast. That's why I need you here right now. Okay, she's arrived. Says in my court, as in present with me, even though you're over there. There's something strange about this. Gazelle struck. Our journey is violently interrupted by a, uh, the sounding of tearing <laughs> flesh and not, gnashing jaws. The desperate cries of man is about to meet his end. The noise is so horrific it must have come from the depths of the underworld. Tempted to track the source, he found a desperate as far struggling between a wild gazelle, struggling with a wild gazelle. His blade is wedged between the beast's jaws. <laughs> a gazelle is trying to bite him or something? He's not gonna eat him. <laughs> they call you the Craven. This man deserves my help. I was mauled by that gazelle. And look. He was mauled alive by a wild beast. Rest in peace, Ashkan the Craven. Mauled by a gazelle. From the jaws of the gazelle. And my wound just got aggravated. And making things worse. I don't even know I should trust you anymore with those treatments. I could potentially die out here. As we wind along the outskirts of Manfodigan, I see a trail of caravan camels in the distance that we soon meet with their stranger. Good evening to you, worthy friend. Come in, come in. I promise you what I have in my stall. Like Jazeera herself, uh, more than what they seem. So uh, showing countless shining trinkets before my eyes. The mysterious lamp. That's a court artifact, and I don't have a royal court yet. Maybe we can make a deal. I failed to haggle and I got this stupid lamp. Break that. Make some money back. I didn't want that damn thing anyway. I was trying to get a... Let's deal and... Son of a beeswax! Not again! Scrap that. There's no way you can get it on him. Only one thing left to do now. You are traveling. Oh, I am traveling. Okay. Well, let me get back home. Sooner rather than later. Now, once I get done being home, then I'll try to recover from my injuries. Because heaven forbid. I fear that she's going to be our uh, dynasty's, dynasty's last hope with this. I'm glad I haven't patrolled her off to somebody yet. But she's got the martial education. She's similar to me, but the only difference is she isn't... Um, she isn't compassionate, but rather trusting. But if she is intelligent, then maybe we can be salvaged with this. Don't do it. Not yet. Okay, who can I fabricate a hook to instead? Or go send your spy master and look for secrets again. Your aptitude is good, but you screwed up.
Oh, my wound's infected. I'm definitely gonna die here. And then that would mean it's up to her now. And plus, we would lose that claim for our media altogether. I got no choice but to compromise with this. Start a claim at faction. Don't have an available strong hook. You gotta live two years. Plus, you already have allies. Can't believe I wasted all that money on a great wedding. And, and now there's a great potential I may die anyway. Screw it. Stop in the middle of this. Do what I can to survive. As I lie in bed, constrained by my wounds, I have time to reflect on the meaning of life and how my tenuous grasp of all this. My fate rests partly on my constitution, partly on the care I receive, but mostly on luck. As time passes, a conclusion approaches, but in the end, I'm ready to accept my destiny. Let's hope for the best. There's a 9% chance I may die, 5% chance I will recover from wound and be scarred. 85% chance I'll be no longer be wounded and lose it effectively. I live! I live! In three years time, get this so the court decision doesn't screw up again. I have a reason to live now. <laughs> Winter. Does his icy matter, his heart reflect, or sure this man is free of defects, the mere thought of a smile brings to one of my face. All worries, woes, and anguish gone without trace. It's truly heartfelt. Thanks. I nearly died though. It had a profound effect on me. I fear that she's gonna be our dynasty's last hope to make it out to something. Just on the meantime, pass the crown authority, and let's get rid of this goof. I have a claim to this. It's not criminal. This is legitimate. But since you won't accept it, assemble the army right now. We're gonna be at your doorstep. I forgot I put that rally point over there. Of course, Shadows is with us. Valuable support from the local community. The members of the local Middle Eastern community are keenly aware of the mutual external threats to our continued prosperity. And they provided me with some military supplies and intelligence as a result. Both the supplies and the information have come from various contacts across Soka, which stretch all the way from the shores of the Red Sea and the Black Sea. My efforts to reinforce them have not been in vain, it seems. If we were to stand together, prosperous, and as partners on the Silk Road, we need trust and work with each other like this. I'm glad we're on the same side. Significant intel. Oh, this would definitely help, especially the advantage to have allies in local community of foreign origin use their networks from across Silk Road to provide us care some useful information about various plots and schemes currently going on. 10 years. Timing couldn't be better. After learning that you'd be guessing, uh, guesting at a man in the village of Hishen Kaifa, 
realized it would be a perfect occasion to meet her. By my request, I was sitting next to her for the duration of the dinner. We both had a great time, and I was surprised how much we had to talk about. By the time I had left, they felt as though we'd known each other a lifetime already. Such a pleasant woman. Nice dress. Golden. You look like a rich woman. Would love to befriend you, but your job. How'd you like to join my faction? Because I can't potentially be forced, but can I be forced to join? Because? Well, can I be forced to join? Doesn't matter how well liked they are. It's just you need strong hooks on them. Strong hooks, you say. Well, we'll do what we can to make it so. No. Yes. We're trying to look at least one secret in the court. Army's on the way, and we're gonna kick this uh, man out of here, and the land will be mine. Oh my goodness, been killed. He was one of the good ones. He was one of the old guard. Get the military engineer. Shouldn't take long. I'll be at court. Get the step warriors. future reference for a future potential war against uh, against uh, Armenia get down here mother Draga my trusty shaman has been entertaining a pet project of herself at this school found a network of organizations across my domain that will attempt to prove the lot of the poorest in some my lands as a cost will increase my domain size I uh, must analyze carefully the, f the whole build to see if the funding this network will be 10 years be worth it. Oh my goodness. I can't afford it, so I cannot fund it, so I'm very sorry. Lately, I feel like we're constantly distracted by the vicious thoughts and erotic fantasies of all the hardships of my everyday life. It's all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life. But what should I do about them? Maybe a different kind of outlet will help. Yeah, athletic. Just go out for a run. Work off some stress. Nothing eases the mind like a raised pulse and a healthy sweat. I'll work my body till my mind is more at ease. Let's go. In the middle of my training when I spot them after. Also exercising, I look over down. Not only does it appear to be in good health, but also have peak physical fitness. I would love to measure my prowess against his, but in what way should I take multiple factors into account if I wish to win? We're all strained for a mix that could include stamina or wits. How about a sparring match? I think a mix of Marshall and Prowse lead to victory. And I emerge victorious, obviously.
You cannot believe that agents of the supremacist could go and notice my court. I demand you cease this rebellious behavior at once. Oh boy. I don't want him to arrest me right now. Simple mistake, my age. That is all. Who's the spy master of Armenia? Why are you so good at detecting such things? No wonder! He ate some bad baklava recently. Camps crawls all before me. A haphazard city of canvas and timber, and animal hides and mud paths and narrow paths, winding through the hunts and lead tunes. Pennants and pennons of every color um, stiffly wave back and forth in the persistent wind. Smoke drifts on the wind. Throngs of men busy themselves among the tents and siege weaponry. The stench of dirt and sweat is thick in the drear air, stinging my eyes. The smell is mixed up with a strong tang of urine and a rancid odor of rotting wounds. A low retainer approaches and informs me that the siege is ended. I gather my bodyguards to head to the edge of the camp. The Virta of Kalinikos, um, which is Raka, stands before me. The smoking pyre, a grey shadow amid the remains of my conquering army. A desolate waste on the parched fields and smoking holes dotted with blood and perversion. Witnesses to a nightmare beyond hell itself. In the Fields between live blackened corpses of slain men and burnt out hovels choked with rubble. Vultures hang on the air, screeching, greedily awaiting the death of the dying. Shocked survivors stumble through the streets. Oh, spare it, because this is the land I really wanted. I will release them all. I'm not gonna imprison them all as much as I would have liked to. Auto revoked. And guess what? You are going to move to a dungeon. Thank you very much. Mysterious noises and colors at night. Home of a duchy building. Keep that noted. Right. Also, I just noticed if you live by the major river, you can actually build trade ports there. I don't know if that was in vanilla or that's due to one of the mods that I'm using. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> like, how long has that been a thing? Now, if I only own this part of land, on this side of the... So basically, this whole side of the Euphrates is mine. Except for this bit down there. Life reaffirmed. It's not enough for mother. What the hell are you doing here? Better get this under control quickly.
actually holds on because younger age so now food fine my lady I know said I will cheer you up <laughs> watch closely as I sniggle on my prey I just uh, a daughter in a whispers me what is she up hungry she screams kind like a savage kick in the face of my Diana chance awesome what a price is expression I'm all nice well, it seems to have taken so much fine Oh joy, what fun. Such a classic jest. As a scholar of diplomatic arts, I'm well aware that the power of an eloquent compliment, show your admiration for a woman's best qualities, sure power to her. I shall write a letter, Grom. Compliment her. Brave, unfettered spirit, because she's got the brave trait, I say. Well received. She's doing all right. Range patrol. If this concerns my nephew, from all the heck way down there, the Hashemid territory. How are you gonna get out of this? There's no alliance with that. But as long as it spreads the dynasty, then I'm okay with it. Yes. I'm okay with it. I just wanna have children of my own. I was able to pregnant before I could even try to finish my seduction scheme. <laughs> Died in the dungeon. Well, my caller has brought joy since I could scarce believe that my rival may have finally perished in my dungeon. And to think I will live in a world free from that fuck dude, oh! And to think that was the one I brought it about. I'm so happy that I could dance on a shallow grave. No more stress. Life is good. Had a near death experience, but life is good. Very good. The sly hyena of upper cover. Master Han Rosai brings word of beast spider -Man. I've been hearing much talk from upper cover. They said that a foul hyena has been terrorizing local villages, snatching livestock before disappearing to the drylands. Well, I got nothing better to do. I'm just trying to seduce my wife, which will be guaranteed to work. There's a hyena sighting here. And I want to kill that thing this time. To bring out flushing gangs. And save beasts. I'm gonna throw my money in this. Serious trouble. And a couple of the Colin Nichols. Okay, forget about the hunt idea. Well, travel along the main in the country. County of the Colin of Colin Nichols. Our caravan is suddenly ambushed by a band of thugs that seek riches and loot to sell. Unfortunately, uh, probably these men know the language of steel. A very dangerous situation that even my two bodyguards provide an additional layer of security. Try to outwit a part of the bandits by using a savvy speech. 1% that I die for this. So, any of my counties, more higher the risk. That has less than eye control, none less stand a middle chance of this. Um, uh, so, this is based on my learning and prowess, so serve as modifiers. Good, neutral, or bad, picking this option. Is he attempted to dissuade some of the bandits from fighting? One of my courtiers might end up dead as a casualty due to this uh, event here. So, did I lose either of my bodyguards? One, two. No, they lived. And so did I. Damn noises and colors at night. Do they even have prayer halls? Yes. Honest excuse. No, anyways, um, that hunt for the hyena. We'll do that in, uh, near the end of the episode.
my faithful Gazapra, steward of the presented me recently with an elaborate sound plan to prove my taxation of my domain. In an knowledge, it will be costing me something up front, of course. I must decide what I implement to find, what I can improve, oh, improve on it by delving into the matter myself, but risking to start up gold, or whether I take advantage of it, studying this masterpiece to help improve my stewardship. So, uh, that just increases the number of years. Honestly, I'd rather study it. The possible penalties and the stress given by the trades represent the forfeited to various choices of this event. Of course, you could attend as a learning education, attained a learning education. If you could attain a learning education, then engaging theoretical studies will be very welcome. It's always good to have more stewardship. I'm gonna save my money for the hyena hunt, which is what I'm gonna do as the last act of this episode. Alright, the celebration's coming to an end. The evening's gonna be seen beyond. I'm gonna meet the uh, Grana suggestory. Clerk soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear. This is my chance to prove. Hmm. The judgment of stars will give us a chance to climb. As the clerk drones on, I can tell her touch is slipping. While I'm thinking out of a sour situation, my mother suddenly chimes in and asks, May I humbly suggest you read the Soma Theologica instead? She perks up with new interest. Why didn't I think of that? Thank you, mother. Apparently I don't have land retreat. I could have sworn I did, because that was during that falcon hunt, which wasn't a good time, honestly. My beloved wife. The sword's all been sent away, and our bed has been decorated with seashells. Yes. Run into the chambers, smiles boldly, and joins without hesitation. What a help of hands, mouths, and limbs. We refer to devotion we swore before the one. Perhaps a more carnal fashion of them. As we are united in marriage, now we are united in heart. Now please don't die of childbirth because, you know, I'm not going out for the hunt until I see a child, potentially new heir, and when the midwife finally exits the uh, bird chamber to solve the crime of our arms, we've lost so many dice orders. I'm sorry, my lord. Lady Grana, word failure, but a tone of voice says all. One life has been extinguished, but a new one just begun. I must stay strong for my daughter. Oh, crud! My daughter. What are the odds of that? And of course she would die at childbirth. She was previously injured. All that money spent for nothing. For nothing! Never doing another grand wedding again in this character's lifetime. Now she gets these part of lands and then gets the others. But there is still time unless some tragedy happens, which tends to happen on. Especially in women. We'll find a new spouse then. Particularly one with alliance power that is particularly relevant near. Whoa! I don't want to wait that long to be married now. Hungarian. No inheritable traits, obviously, but is an adult. An alliance. 
with the MAGA Confederacy will do. Yeah. It'll do. It's across the sea. Across the sea and right in Armenian territory. You have to think of political marriages. And you like me well enough. Stop right there. Mother just died as well. She was 74. She lived a good long life. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to stop this episode right now. Because, one, I just saw a tournament popped up. But it says I may not arrive in time. Oh, is that so? Then maybe... If we could just pick up the pace here. Don't bring the... And costs. Yeah, you'll be there just in time. And where is that at? All the heck way down to Egypt. With a lot of potential danger which could delay the travel. Real question is, do you really want to risk that? Actually, you don't need to be unconscious. You, you'll already be there in time. But you should bring his mercenary cards. That'll help you. Yeah. You'll be fine. But again, that'll be for the next episode. Which would take part in a board game. Yes, a board game. Which I do have a great amount of learning for this. So this may prove to be a benefit for me. So, in the next episode, um, two things, three things, maybe, four, okay, one, tournament, two, hunt a hyena, three, have a son, hopefully, and four, for Armenia, for the throne of it. Do not have a strong hook, but that time would be coming soon no health so it's a race against time even though my health will be fine which I'll have a good decade ahead of me as long as I don't get too hurt with the trial and such so we got a lot of things to do in the upcoming episodes so we hope you people will join us for that but until then so long for now